Assalamu alaikum everyone and today we are going to be talking about meso compounds and diastereomers. If a compound has one chiral center then it is chiral overall and it will exist as a pair of enantiomers. But that isn't always the case. If a compound has two chiral centers, as with this one, then we're gonna have to investigate further on whether this is chiral or achiral. Now, I've got an example right here. Now, if we take the mirror image of this molecule and rotate it 180 degrees, we get this molecule which if you try to overlap these two they will be they won't overlap properly as you can see the dash the dash will go to the wedge and the wedge will go to the dash and it won't overlap properly so this is an enantiomer but that isn't always the case in this example we just changed the dash bond to the wedge bond so these are the two two chiral centers and when we take the mirror image we get this and if we rotate at 180 we get precisely the same molecule so they will overlap properly so this is a chiral yes it is possible to have two or more chiral centers but be a chiral overall now we actually have special terms to define these cases so for this case in my previous example this is called a meso compound a meso compound is where there is an internal plane or line of symmetry so if we split the molecule here we can see that this portion is very similar to this portion as it's called the line of symmetry so this is a meso compound any meso compound can be a chiral now there is another type of molecule that is that can have multiple chiral centers but be a chiral overall such as well this the a b and c it can be any ma atom it doesn't matter uh, but basically this is not a meso compound because this is more like a point of symmetry than a line of symmetry let me explain now if we look at it closely we can see that each atom in this example can be reflected now in the drawing it's not really perfect but in the real example it will all cross through an inversion center that's what it's called basically this dash bond will have to go to the wedge so it will go through the inversion center to reflect across here and same goes for the b and the a's are the plane of the board it can go straight and there that's the inversion center that we also have to make note of if we are trying to determine if a molecule is an enantiomer, an inversion center, 
or is a meso compound. There is another stereoisomeric relationship that we have to be aware of and that is of diastereomers. Diastereomers are not specifically enantiomers, but they are stereoisomers. In this example, we can see that an enantiomer is basically the inversion of each chiral stereocenter, such as this is R and S, the R turned into an S in this molecule, and the S turned into an R in this molecule. But diastereomers is the inversion of one, not both, but one stereocenter. And they are not specifically mirror images of one another. So in this example, we can see that these are enantiomers, but from here to here, we can see the R turned into an S, even though this S is the same. These are diastereomers because this is inverting one chiral center, but they aren't mirror images of one another. If you were to go and check it yourself, then you can see that this is the mirror image and this isn't, but they still are linked as diastereomers. So basically what this means is that a molecule can have, uh, what, 10 chiral centers, and that means that they will have many, many, many different diastereomers, but they will only have one enantiomer, because you can only have one mirror image. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos about organic chemistry and want to be notified every time I make a new video, then make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. And please like the video and if you had any confusions or if I did any errors, please write it down in the comment section below. And thank you for watching and I will see you next time! Bye!